Hey all you gamers, if you want to see what I think is very possibly one of the best tank builds in the game at the moment, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls. So like I was saying, if you want to see what I think is one of the best and most enjoyable tank builds that I've ever played, then this is the place to be. So you're a tank, so first and foremost, you will not, will not be topping the DPS chart at any point. However, you do not do totally rubbish damage. I think you actually hold your own, to be fair. Um, I would say this is definitely a group tank kind of a build. Because, to be perfectly honest, I tried a lot of tank builds in this game, and I found them a little bit lack lacklustre as such. This one, I really enjoy. But I would say, like I said, pretty much make sure you're in a group, because it is much, much better like that. You'll be holding all the aggro, taking all the beats, and everyone else will just wipe the floor with everything. So, without further ado, it pretty much stars this build right here the foundry bulwark now a lot of people love this in pvp pretty much because it makes you <laughs> nigh unkillable in pvp at the moment from what i've heard um but i like it in pve and what i've done i've got the headpiece the holster the gloves and the knees and from what you can see they're not perfect you can get a lot better than my build just by getting a little bit more armor on everything the main thing of this build is completely absolutely max out all of the armor and then if you have a little look here we've got tardigrade armor now you might be thinking to yourself, why why would I put that here? Obviously you could have the other named one, and that is another really, really good one. I think it's called uh, Point Man. That's a really good armor set to have. I, I prefer this, and the reason I prefer this is because basically it's like an uh-oh moment. If you read it here, it actually says, whenever you or any allies armor breaks, they gain 80% of your armor as bonus armor for 10 seconds. So basically, it makes someone survive. And most of the time, it will be your armor that breaks anyway, because you are going to be front and center all the time with this build. Now, what you need to have up here, honestly, these two weapons, your complete own preference, because you will be using this handgun at all times. Uh, I would say maybe have maybe have a rifle or even a marksman rifle in one of these slots just in case your shield breaks and you get the armor break and you've got to kind of um, retreat for a while behind cover then you'll want to be waiting for your uh, shield to pretty much come back online but honestly this is your preference you do need this this is kind of integral to this build and that is the Liberty now, the Liberty, a lot of people saw this as a really big nerf. Obviously, the old one was really, really good. And that, I still like this one. I've got to admit, I still like it. But I think it works best with this build as opposed to some of the other stuff. So, hits grant 2% weapon damage, stacks up to 30 times. And headshots consume all of those stacks, repairing your shield for 3% per stack. Now, it sounds strange, doesn't it? But what you want to do with this, you can either just keep tapping away and get headshots. I am not able to do that with this build 100% of the time. No point in lying to you. Because it is quite... There, there'll be some times when you're getting hit by seven or eight different people. And even one of the big dudes with a minigun. You're shaking. You're wobbling. I get a lot of body shots. Um... So what you have over here, and this I believe is the, probably the most integral bit of it all, the backpack, and this one 
is not it's not perfect but it is a good one so i've got the gyla guard backpack because it it gives you five percent total armor now the reason i'm trying to max out the armor so much is because like i said earlier if you have a look back here whenever you or any allies armor breaks they gain 80 percent of your armor so you want your armor to be as high as possible like i said mine is not perfect i've got it to 1.8 it's not bad it's pretty good you can do better you can definitely do better um, having a bit of armor regen is not a bad idea but i think probably hazard is a little bit better in this build to be perfectly honest and what you'll want to do will be to chuck on in any of the mod slots the elite uh, elite resistance so say say for example you could get 20 percent um, elite resistance then that would be perfect for this build and like i was saying with the backpack the main thing you want is this talent right here protector when your shield is damaged you gain five percent bonus armor and all other allies gain 15 percent of your armor as bonus armor for three seconds now the cooldown on that is three seconds but that's not long and the way you play with this tank is pretty pretty aggressive to be perfectly honest there's not much hiding in cover there's if your shield is going to break and you can't get out of there you're in trouble that doesn't tend to happen much make sure that the targets are in front of you if you're getting overwhelmed from behind it is possible to die but not likely because there's a few things i've put into this build that actually work in its favor as well so if you have a look up here you might think why am i running this well i like to have the bulwark shield down here so the full body shield and another thing would be to have either the drone or the flamer turret can help as well that's not bad because it goes well in conjunction with this because flames last longer the drone is really good in this build really really good it holds aggro and it kind of does a bit of damage to their armor and such whereas you're not doing the most damage but to put things in perspective this right here what it does is while you're around enemies anyone within 10 meters of you so any enemy within 10 meters of you takes 10 percent added damage so if you're doing this build properly you're in the center of everything and anyone who's played a tank build before knows the people on your team should be shooting the people around you because that's the whole point of it if they can wipe them quick you move on to the next lot they get 10 percent extra damage just from you being there uh, another good thing if your armor does break you burn everyone around you on the armor break that's really good it gives you an extra chance to kill things and an extra chance to run away if things kind of hit the fan as such so the main thing you'll be doing will be walking into the middle of everyone putting your shield up getting shot by absolutely everything which will apply this buff to your whole team sorry my voice again so basically they'll be getting all of the added armor the whole time over then if any of them is about to die or you yourself are you'll get the armor proc from this kind of giving you a chance to leg it everything around you will be set on fire as well which is really really good and obviously this bulwark here gives you a little bit of regen in its actual armor set so like i said so two pieces is 10 percent extra armor a little bit of armor regen and makeshift repairs is nice whenever you or your shield takes damage 20 percent of that amount is repaired to both over 15 seconds really nice really really nice and what you can do if you really wanted to pretty much go 
you could either go completely full tank which would be try to get blue on everything so armor which i told you is the 100 percent thing you want most and after that you could get the hazard uh, hazard protection sorry you don't really need that too much to be perfectly honest as long as other people are doing their jobs you're pretty cool without it so what you could have is armor a little bit of hazard protection and then on everything else I would probably say if you want to do it perfect get headshot damage and then try to focus your fire with the Liberty on just headshots as much as possible when you can't get them spam away on the body and then hit the head whenever you can and you get the armor back so that pretty much shows you how you can actually play it you're in amongst everything whenever your shields going down you headshot something and it will give you three percent or if you've done a load of body shots headshot it and it will give you that much percentage back like i said i think this is an amazing build it's the most fun tanking build i've played on this game and it's a very team based build where you're giving every single person armor on your team pretty much constantly as long as you're in in amongst things I hope that's helped some of you. I hope you enjoy this build. I hope a lot of you use it because I found it really fun. Um, I don't think I'd use it too much singly because it takes too too much time to clear things. But even on Heroic, if you're in a team, this is an amazing, amazing build. So guys and girls, as always, I hope that's helped some of you. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit that like, leave a comment. And for all things Xbox, subscribe hit that bell icon but right now i'm going to leave you with some gameplay so you can see exactly how it works and it's all on heroic so you know it's viable take care and as always see you on the next day Mm-hmm.